So this is our first real hands-on close look at Samsung's Galaxy S10 5G. And you know, we'll get to see some other devices out there that are actually connected to live 5G network here at MWC in Barcelona. But just wanted to take a look to highlight some of the differences between the Galaxy S10 5G compared to the Galaxy S10 Plus. They both share very similar specs, and actually we have the Plus here as well if you want to sort of see a comparison. Uh, but the most immediate difference is on the back, the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S10 have three cameras. This one has an extra fourth time of flight sensor. Now that measures depth, and over on the front you also have that secondary camera that has a time of flight sensor, so those both are using uh, depth scanning to be able to sort of map out experiences, so which Samsung says will benefit uh, AR experiences when you're connected to 5G networks. So that's something that would be exciting to see, but sadly not something we can really test right now. Otherwise, it's a 4,500 milliamp hour battery to keep everything powered, and the bigger deal is that this is a 6.7 inch screen, which sounds massive, uh, just about one of the largest most expensive phones there is that we know of, um, but this doesn't really feel that much bigger than the Galaxy S10 Plus, and that's because Samsung said they managed to fit the entire screen and body into the same size as the Galaxy Note 9. So you're getting a Note 9 body with this 6.7 inch larger screen, and if you remember, the Note 9 had a 6.4 inch screen. So pretty impressive tech all around. Now let's go check what 5G is like on the S10 5G. So these two Samsung Galaxy S10 5G devices are just about the only 5G phones here that are connected to a 5G network that's being operated in some other hall at MWC in Barcelona. So uh, over here, when you take a look at the Galaxy S10 5G, currently this phone right here is doing a 4K stream. So you can see uh, just like sort of the speed, there's like no latency. Obviously this is a controlled demo, so there's only so much we really know about how this is playing and everything. But essentially this is a 4K uh, stream that you can see it pretty, looks pretty good. And one thing that they did note is that you can zoom in on the image and just that stunning detail is just super impressive. And perhaps more importantly, when you pull down that notification shade, you can see a little tiny logo that says 5G. So definitely is hopefully connected to 5G, but it's pretty impressive otherwise. And over on this one, we have a baseball game being streamed. And you can just also sort of zoom in. And that's still a pretty great level of detail for being able to zoom in that much. And this is sort of simulating how it would be if 5G would be available in like a stadium and you're trying to watch from home this is sort of the experience you can sort of expect with those faster speeds. So that's a quick look at 5G and the Galaxy S10 5G. We still don't know the price of the device. We don't know how much 5G networks are gonna cost, but we do know it's gonna come at some point this year, mid-year, uh, on several carriers in the US. So keep a lookout for that. And of course, the thing that everyone sort of really came here to see is the Samsung Galaxy Fold, which is Samsung's foldable phone that they unveiled and unpacked last week. Sadly, as we found out, it is in a glass box and not really too folded. There's a bit of uh, shot here that you can see where it is slightly folded, but uh, now, of course, Samsung is not the only foldable phone that we know of. There's the Huawei Mate X that Huawei announced yesterday, and we have some hands-on footage of that if you also want a look at what a another foldable phone is like.